everyone welcome to the turning point in this session let us solve a problem on friction and the question is the given question is there are two blocks a and b one is on inclined plane and another one is horizontal plane they are connected by means of a bar like that the weight of the block b is given there and you are supposed to calculate the weight of the block a so that is the question and coefficient of friction uh, for block a is given 0.4 and the coefficient of friction is not given directly for block b so angle of friction is given there so you need to find coefficient of friction so the relation between coefficient of friction and angle of friction is mu is equal to tan phi from that i can find the coefficient of friction for b so from that uh, it is equal to tan 15 degrees which is nothing but uh, 0.26 so let's check that uh, tan 15 degrees yes it is uh, 0.26 degrees now if you observe these two blocks which one will have the motion first block b right why because it is on inclined plane now let us draw the free body diagram for block b so i need to remove all the surface contacts and i have to draw the blocks separately so first thing i need to represent is weight so 1780 weight acts vertically downwards and uh, it is uh, connected by means of a bar to another block along the bar i am considering that there is a tensile force so let us consider that one as s and uh, it is not able to move in this direction in this direction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface represent reaction so consider it as nb for block b it is nb so when it is on inclined plane it will have tendency to move in downward direction when it is moving downward direction in the opposite direction you need to represent a frictional force fb which is nothing but a mu b and b so this is a mu b which is nothing but a, this is fb and this is nb so if you observe fb is making an angle of 30 degrees with vertical and so the block is like this for your i am drawing once again so frictional force like this fb so with vertical it is 30 degrees that means with horizontal it is making an inclination of 60 degrees so then this one will become 60 degrees so it is also inclined force i need to find the angle so this is nb here it is perpendicular to surface so this is 90 this is 60 the remaining angle is going to be 30 degrees why because the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so that means nb is making an angle of 30 degrees with horizontal so for your convenience i can transfer these forces onto plane so draw x y axis this is nb making inclination of 30 degrees with horizontal and this is fb which is nothing but mu b nb making an inclination of 60 degrees with horizontal s acting along native x direction and 1780 acting vertically downwards right so here i can apply sigma fx is equal to 0 sigma fy equal to 0 now so i am considering sigma fy equal to 0 when i consider sigma fy equal to 0 nb vertical component is nb sin 30 and that is acting along positive y direction so when i resolve this one into two components it will be having one component along vertical y direction one component along native x direction so here the vertical component for mu b and b is mu b and b sin 60 and one more force which is acting along y direction is minus 1780 equal to 0 so nb common sin 30 plus mu b is 0.26 sin 60 is equal to 
from this you can find the value of nd so sin 30 plus 0.26 uh, sin 60 It is 1780 divided by 0 0.725. So you will get a 1780 divided by 2454.60. So this is the value of NB. And I will find the value of S by substituting the value of NB in sigma fx is equal to 0. So I am going to consider sigma f bar fx is equal to 0. I am going to arrange this one. If you want to take it, pause the video and take it. So this is the value of NB. We will use that one later. So now considering sigma fx is equal to 0. So when I consider sigma fx is equal to 0, I need to consider the forces along x direction. So minus s along negative x direction minus nb cos 30 plus mu b nb cos 60 equal to 0. From that s is equal to mu b nb cos 60 minus nb cos 30 taking nb common mu b is 0 0.26 cos 60 minus cos 30 so we know the value of nb as 2454.60 and finding this value it is 0.26 cos 60 minus cos 30 so I got that one as a need value minus 0 0.736 so when I multiply that one with a 2454.60 I got a minus 1806.64 this is the value I got for S. Now let us consider free body diagram for block uh, A. Let us consider the free body diagram for block A now. So arising this one. So this is the value of S we got. Now considering the free body diagram for block A, so weight is unknown, tension along the stream, so not able to move in this direction, in the opposite direction, normal reaction and uh, when the block is able to move in left hand side direction, suppose if this is the block B and it is able to move along downward direction then the block A is going to move along left hand side direction so in the opposite direction represent the frictional force f1 this is equal to u1 n1 right here i am going to use a sigma fx is equal to 0 so when i consider sigma fx is equal to 0 s along positive x direction and mu1 n1 also along positive x direction equal to 0 as we know that that one we got already as minus 1806.64 plus mu1 is uh, mu a is given as so consider this one as a mu a mu a and a this is also f a right so mu a and a so minus 1806.64 is the value of s and mu a is given as 0 0.4 and a equal to 0 from this Na is equal to 1806.64 divided by 0 0.4 from that I can find the value of Na so I got that value as 
4516.6 newtons. Next, consider sigma f y equal to zero. So when I consider and you acting vertically upwards minus w downwards from that w is equal to and a which is equal to 4516.6 newtons so this is the weight of the block a hope you like it if you like this video click on like button for more videos do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching